Hi, I'm Mike Gaffa, and today I want to talk to you about the vision convergence exercise that you see on the board here. We'll walk through that. Uh, before I start, I want to give a nod to Dr. Tom Rayner. In his book, Breakout Churches, Rayner introduced something called the vision intersection profile, which some of this is based on. This is a little different, but I want to encourage you to go check out that tool. Uh, again, Breakout Churches is the book, Vision Intersection Profile. This tool, the Vision Convergence Exercise, is designed to help churches and church leaders uh, discern vision. It's designed to sort of bubble up vision. So one of the things I get a lot when I work with churches is, how do we discern vision? We're praying about it, we're waiting on the Holy Spirit, we're talking about different things, but it's just, it can be very challenging to kind of know, well, where is the vision? And so this tool is, a, is an assist, it's an aid in helping discern vision. And you can see there's three sort of uh, sets of diagrams there. The first one relates to passions. So one way to identify where vision might be bubbling up is to think about areas of common passion. So what is it that your community, the place in which your church is located in, what unique things are people passionate about there? And then also as a congregation, what is your church? What is the body of Christ in your church uh, passionate about? And then finally, as a leader and as a leadership team, what is it that makes your heart race fast? And when you can come up with areas of shared passion, so there's the sweet spot right in the middle. If you have that, then you might just be surfacing some element of vision. Even if there's overlap in a couple of circle, circles, it's worth noting. So we're just trying to uncover uh, pockets where vision might be emerging. <clears throat> the second aspect is where we see God at work. So God is at work uh, in your community, in your congregation, and in your leadership. So as you look around and you go, where is God at work? How do we see God working? Uh, what does that look like? <coughs> we want to make sure that we're paying attention to that. And again, the sweet spot is in the middle. If we sense God working in a particular way, maybe it's uh, God is doing something to bring broken families together. And we see that in our community. There's a movement. Um, our congregation, we've seen it even within our own church. And then as leadership, we go, you know, God is bubbling this up in us that we need to about, be about the ministry of reconciliation and broken families. That's just an example, but that's kind of how vision begins to surface. So passions, God at work, and then finally, uh, borrowing a term here from Bill Hybels, uh, holy discontent. And Hybels would say that holy discontent are things that uh, both grieve us and grieve God. So pr things that cause uh, consternation for ourselves and also would grieve God. So poverty, um, uh, any sort of uh, uh, abuse of any sort, um, those kinds of things. And really what we're thinking about with holy discontent is the gap between what is and what should be. So if in your community, for example, if uh, let's just say poverty is much more pronounced than what it should be, then that's probably a holy discontent. Um, if your congregation is discontent about something, and again, this is not complaining or whining, we're talking about a holy discontent. So maybe um, there needs to be an emphasis on deeper stewardship. Um, and then again, as you think about your leadership team, what are those things that bring you um, kind of a holy discontent that it is one thing, but you know it should be another. And again, we're, we're wanting to find where there's centrality, where there's overlap between what's happening in the community, the church, and the leadership. And if you do that with passion areas, with how you see God at work, and with areas of holy discontent, then I would dare say that you're beginning to see a picture of a vision that God will place before you. So there is the vision convergence exercise.